This is how to flash the. Um, let me see. I forget what drive this is. Um, it's the DG. 16D4S0225, which is probably the most popular. So, I will link you to the um, tutorial I'm going off of. It helps a whole bunch. So, things you're going to need will be listed in the description. I have X360 SB Pro V2 and the Molex power supply or whatever. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Um, Take apart your Slim. This is actually my friend Slim because he wants me to do it for him and he's paying me $60 for the PCB. And um, this PCB, come like the replacement PCB, I'll put it in the description. <coughs> comes with these this thing wired, the wires attached to here and this thing. So if you really do not want to solder or anything, um, I I guess you could try this thing but I tried it last time and it did not work like the thing my drive would not eject so yeah take apart your slim or take apart your CD drive and um yeah th these will be attached like they'll be attached in there just just a second, let me... Alright, well, these... This wire here, and this wire here, and this wire here will be attached. You can just pull the... You can unattach them real, really good. Re not really good, but really fast. Not hard. Let me... I really have to do this with one hand. Alright, and just pull this up. Alright. Pull that up, and they come out. Um, so you're going to have to unsolder these wires. Not hard. Um, you'll need a soldering iron, and take out the little little bolt, little screw, whatever you want to call it there. And you got. To, let me do that real quick. Make sure you don't lose that. Ooh, almost lost. Uh, put it in over here. So yeah. Um. All right, but you can see it. Just you have to take a little screw out and forget how I did this last time. Just unhook that little thing, and you can wiggle it out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just pop it out, and these wires will be attached here. Just undo all these wires. Just leave mine from there. <coughs> Alright, now let me get the soldering iron ready. So, just a second. Alright, now, um, I have the soldering iron ready, let me heat it up. So, you need to unsolder these wires, and, um, and then we'll hook it up to the, hook up to the computer, and extract the DVD key, and then, um, we will write that DVD key and the firmware to the replacement PCB that you guys ordered. So wait for this to heat up. All right, there we go. I can turn this off for a, let it cool down because probably not very smart to do it next year monitor or anything like that. So let me get my phone. Alright now so the PCB we need to extract the DVD key for it. Um, 
so let me hook it up real quick. Right. X360 USB Pro V2. Um, have have it hook. All right, like have the power supply going through, and um, have it hooked up to the 360 USB Pro V2. Have this SATA cable, whatever power, and then USB go to your computer. Um, and make sure this little switch here is towards the USB side. That's what I've been told. Alright. Alright, so you have everything hooked up. Um, open Jungle Flasher. Look at the tutorial. Select DVD key, 32 tab. Okay, make sure the I.O. port is set to zero, zero. X360 X360 SP Pro should detect as primary and master firmware. Er, not that. Um, primary master. No drive detected. That's not good. All right. Not good. Make sure dummy bin is ticked. Click on slim key button. Alright, let me screw with my real quick. Oh, add power off on mine. Um, there we go. Okay, um, say mine's found. Click on slim key button. It'll be asked if you want to send the unlock command to the drive. Click no. I would have guess. I would have guessed yes, but guess not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, click no. Now click yes. And then power cycle the drive. I didn't even have to power cycle. I don't know what happened, but guess it worked. Um, make a folder. All right, now um, we have the DVD drive and key, whatever DVD key extracted, so you can just. Unplug it now, and you can basically toss this. <laughs> Stop it now, seriously. All right, Ser so don't seriously don't put me in it. Okay, I'll blur your face then. Oh. No, just don't mm -hmm. restart it. <laughs> restart. All right, so no, Tanner. I'm gonna cut it out. Come down. All right, so. <laughs> So get the um get the replacement PCB and okay now snugger in oh there. okay once you get it. You have to like slide it, in, slide this side in first. I didn't do that. Um, then you can snug it in, snugger in. So um, let me see. All right, yeah. Um, plug all the wires in. All the loose wires.
Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, get the really small screw and screw that in so it stays in place. Alright. Now, this is the part that you could um, use this and this, like this will be attached to here, like these wires will be attached to here, but I already unsoldered them off and you can just plug this into here and then plug these wires in here. Alright, I'll be out in a second. Uh, um, plug these wires in there and screw it in and stuff, but I tried it with mine and it ended up screwing up, so I'm just going to solder these wires to straight to the... Don't screw this. I'm not! It'll say... You'll be able to tell which one goes where, because... It'll say black, it'll have the letter next to it, so black, red, yellow, green, white. So let me get my solder. Should be heated up by now, so. There's one, so black, red. And then white. And now we're done with solder. Let me put this on the ground before I burn it. Alright, so this is all soldered in, and you'll have this thing hanging out the back end. Um, you don't need to do anything with that yet, but I'm going to take this, um, hook it up to the X360 SB Pro, and I will see you on the computer. Alright, now once it's hooked up, make sure the little switch is turned to unlock instead of instead of lock. Um, okay, let's go back to the tutorial. So select MTK Flash 32 tab. Click IO Refresh to No drive detected, also. Awesome. Yeah, it'll say no drive detected, I'm pretty sure. So click the intro slash device ID button. You may need to power cycle if the drive doesn't kick into vendor mode. On its first attempt, most of the time it will kick straight in, though. Okay, hold on. Alright, now I had to power cycle, and so now I'm in vendor mode. The drive property should be on display. Everything's looking great. <laughs> um, you'll see a new button that says 0x00. This is the SPI lock status. 0x00 means it is unlocked and write protection is disabled. Awesome, alright. Now click on right. As you can see, the right slash verifier commands are sent very quickly 